Okay, hello YouTube, Mucklick here. Uh, this is just like a thoughts video. I spent the last couple of hours playing Heal Quickness Berserker and trying it out. And I wanted to share my thoughts because I'm going on to try some other stuff after this. And I wanted to, you know, kind of just be able to lock in my thoughts before I get my brain scrambled with other class stuff that I uh, haven't played. Uh, first off, what did I play? I did full Harriers with Rune of the Monk and Relic of the Monk with Staff. Dagger, mainly for Rage Generation and a Warhorn. Oh, and uh, sorry, Rune of the Monk and Sigil of Concentration and Transference. Um, and then this was the build right here. You can see it here. Now, the way that it worked, um, well, you know, it pictures a thousand words here is the answer let me just run in here do some stuff and get some rage bash this in and do this and do this get a little bit more rage and f1 again and weapon swap to the dagger and do this and use one of the warhorn skills fill the rage back up burst again use this one and also you notice i'm in an i'm in an agony field right now and it's no big deal we're we're pumping through that right now all right, so you look at my boons, and that is what this is able to keep up. We are keeping up Prot, uh, Quickness, Swiftness, Regen, Fury, 25 Might. Uh, the Vigor is can be like near 100% of the time. If I played a little bit better, Vigor would be like 100% of the time. All right, so I'm going to step out of here so I can focus on the conversation and not the rotation, because that takes a lot of brain power because I don't main this class. So uh, the boons are good. The healing is incredible, okay? The three, look at this, line breaker, 6,800 tooltip healing, all right? I had so many times, uh, we, we did Bone Skinner today, where like people would be low health, and I would just like, you know, line breaker into them, and it would just full heal everyone. The two, of course, it being it also has like a almost 3k baseline heal on a very short cooldown. Like even not using other skills, I, I can be using the two and the three and getting a lot of healing out of them. On top of that bullet catcher, you could block like a huge hit from a boss and then just release it to do a huge heal after. The staff kit feels good. All right, like, and this isn't a block one attack like Aegis. This is block all attacks for a few seconds, then hit it again for a huge heal. So if like if the boss is doing a big thing, you can bullet catch to block the hit and then release it and heal all the people that failed to dodge the hit. It, it feels really nice. The three skill, they changed it to where it no longer requires ally targeting. You could target the ground as you just saw me do. It does have a long animation. For example, if you do it close to you, it just does like the roar. If you uh, do it far away, it does like charge, 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 charge for a few more seconds than the roar. But yeah, it's still very, very powerful. Huge healing, surprisingly amount of healing. And then also the boss stuff like that. So this entire kit, the, the Valiant Leap giving people regen and might and fury, auto attack to give, uh, or sorry, I said regen, sorry, it's might, fury, and healing. The auto attack chain gives regen on the third hit. The three doing the absolutely bonkers heal and also movement skill. Uh, four, um, you don't really, you really, uh, I only use the four when I needed a CC. It's a little pull. Uh, and then five to block a huge boss hit and then release to heal the allies after. It feels good. The My main complaint with this specific build is I felt like it was going to give me Carpal Tunnel. In order to keep up the boons as a quick, uh, sorry, as a quick heal berserker, I, ha I, I literally, even when I wasn't healing people in an emergency situation, I was hitting a button every single second. Okay, the APM for this build is very high. Yeah, you're, you're like you're trying to keep the weapon skills up, but like, oh man, I gotta refresh the banner. Oh, I haven't used for great justice in a while. I gotta get fury and might up. Oh, I need to use my burst skill. Quickness is falling off. I got a primal burst. Do use another skill. Primal burst. Get some rage. Primal burst. Weapon swap. Primal burst. Oh man, I haven't used the uh, warhorn skills in a while. The vigor has fallen off. I gotta do that. Or the mesmer is gonna start crying. Do that, and then you know, oh, oh the banner hasn't gone down in a while again. Like there is so many things. It, it just, specifically, the number one problem is like the, you know, primal burst, primal burst, primal burst, primal burst. Because each primal burst gives a few seconds of quickness. So the main source of quickness generation is doing that a lot. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to be trying is going to be the Blade Sworn Alak heal and see how that feels because I'm loving the staff loving the utility down here. The primal burst thing is friggin' murder on my wrist to keep up with. But this is viable. The healing numbers it puts out are bonkers. They're absolutely great. It's just the, you know, what are the weaknesses of this build? Let's talk weaknesses. All right, uh, with this build, now granted, 
I'm I'm a warrior newbie. I maybe didn't choose the best stuff here. You can tell me. Uh, you can tell me in the comments. I, I was using for great justice as an occasional shout heal, and also it kept uh, helped keep up fury and might on everybody. Banner of defense helped keep up regen and it was some barrier on cooldown but that may not have been necessary i don't know but you know banner defense feels really good to use shake it off now in this slot depending on the fight i would either have shake it off to help with condition cleansing on teammates also it's an aoe stun break uh so if you were like on uh on uh, i did some strike missions like whisper of jormag and the bears and occasionally you know the whole group would get knocked aside and i would hit the button and it would just stun break the entire squad uh or the entire group i was in which felt really good how However, on fights where I needed stability, I was swapping out Shake It Off for Banner of Tactics. Banner of Tactics does not feel good to use. On my Druid, if I need to give someone stability, I can use the Glyph of... Uh uh, the unity? I can use the glyph to instantly just boom. And it's like very short cooldown, give one stack of stability to the party. And I can do that when an incoming hit is coming and negate the uh, the knockdown. This has a three quarter second cast time. So it's like, okay, there's the stability with six weeks shipping. That definitely required me to kind of rewire my brain because it was so much slower to get it out there. Uh, so you definitely had to use it like much further ahead of time because it was not responsive. Additionally, if you had a fight where you needed stability and Condi cleanse, it was more tricky because then I'd have to I'd have to choose something. Do I give up here? Do I give up the banner of defense, which uh, is you know resolution, regen, and aegis? Do I give up the tactics, which is the stability, or do I give up for great justice? And then my fury and might might suffer. It really felt like I had four utility buttons that were great, and I needed all of them. So uh, now again, maybe I was you know made a mistake in my build setup here. Again, I'm going, hi Chip. Uh, maybe I did not do something as well as I could have here. Uh, I am completely open to that because uh, I am you know not a warrior main high <laughs> chip uh but that's that's what happened that was the situation um so yeah primal surge spam uh was it murder on the hand I felt like I was constantly juggling three or four things to keep all the boons up and be doing my job and then if one unexpected thing happened you know Billy stood in the fire or something to save him, I had to drop one of those balls that I was juggling. And then I had to be like, okay, I saved him. Now I got to, you know, focus on getting region back up because it fell. Or vigor back up because it fell. Or quickness back up because in saving this guy, I wasn't primal bursting and I fell out of berserk mode. You know, it, it, it was just a, a chore keeping all those things up and also saving people from the unexpected things. Like, and I was having to stare at the rage bar so much. I was noticing that I had less time than I usually have playing other classes to look at the party interface and see if anyone was down. So the floating health bars were my, my bread and butter there. But yeah, it feels good. Staff is awesome. The utility is fine, but I feel like, you know, I was really, really struggling. Like, it's like if I took Shake It Off, then the only AoE condition cleanse I had was Call of Valor. But I was spamming Call of Valor off cooldown to keep Vigor up on the party. And so if I was saving it for condition cleanse, then Vigor fell off and then, you know, the revenants of the Mesmer started crying and it was just like, okay. So definitely felt like I, I needed one more utility slot for this build, but, uh, you know, maybe someone will point out like, oh, hey, you overlooked the blah, 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 blah. But yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Definitely viable, capable of some huge healing numbers. If you don't mind really, really high APM, this build is capable of doing an excellent job healing, but it is very high APM. Um, just got to know what fights you need the right tools for. And then that's my thoughts after trying out a few hours of uh, heal quick berserker after the patch.